good morning guys and look at this breakfast we are still in our camping and we just asked if we can have breakfast she said sit down i'll bring it to you so okay and we literally got all of this we got this meat here we got the bread more like uh, toast and uh, buns we got cheese we got okay like we got for toast we got chocolate sprinkles we got everything we got orange juice butter this is crazy <clears throat> now we're gonna so eat don't talk eat this place is just simply beautiful guys look at this this is crazy oh there's a camping spot look at the ocean literally look at the ocean guys and here are all like the shells and stuff oh geez yeah <laughs> <laughs> look, it's so wet. Look, look. And see the water. Usually, the water goes all the way up to right there on this line. And the water literally is all the way out there. And our next stop is at one of the most famous things for the Netherlands. They're called windmills. As you can see right back here in the background, we have one nice one turning around. This is typical. There are really, really many standing around on the flatlands of Netherlands. And right here where we are, there are tons. Like, you have one back there, run right here, one over there, one, two back there, three over there, four back there, and five, six over there. You can't even see all of them from right here. We just drove by and look at them. Doesn't this look cool? Doesn't this look absolutely cool? Okay, so basically, these windmills were used to transport water up because you know the Netherlands is underneath sea level and they had to like dry the plate out so they could use the land so they build dams and they build windmills to pump up the water from the bottom so basically the way it works so out here the wind turns the windmill which activates this churning thing i don't know what to call it this thing and this thing used to activate this spiral the spiral you can see right down here and this spiral used to transport the water up and rise the water level so they could dry out this field and the land so they could use it quite cool isn't it they were built in the 17th century and were used up until modern days where technology with like pumps and stuff replaced them and we can go up and look at it here we go we're walking up these wooden stairs right behind me. And this is the dam they built. And here are all the little windmills they used to rise the water level to dry out all of this land. This is the big wooden plank that was churned from the wind. And that goes all the way down to the place we just were to activate the spiral to carry up the water. You can see how tall this thing actually is. Wow. This is amazing, this is really cool. I have to show this to you guys. Look at this. You can see this big, big wheel. This is churned by the wind. This wind energy is transported onto this wheel. This wheel turns and with the spikes, it starts turning this little wheel, which starts turning this metal thing, which activates the big wooden log, which basically leads to the entire thing turning and the whole mechanism I showed you in the bottom to actually work. This is impressive. This big wheel, if you spin it, these little wheels right here start turning so you can adjust the entire windmill towards the wind so it actually turns. And over here, this big log right here, this is the brake. So basically you can see these little, well they're not that small, these big holes in the big circle. Well, this log, if you push it, you put it in there and you stop it from churning. 